actually supposed to be in Rome right now, but we had to cancel last minute because it was supposed to be like pouring rain the three days that we were supposed to be in Rome. But instead, we decided to go to Venice first. And in the meantime, we will also be going to Florence and then we will go to Rome. And I'm just so excited to explore the city. I'm just doing a bit of makeup because we are almost in Venice. We found an Airbnb that's located a little bit outside of Venice. It takes like 20 to 30 minutes to take the train to Venice. But what made it so attractive is that it's like a family, they have like a pool, they have some rescue dogs and I read the reviews and apparently there's like an Italian mama, like mother there and people were saying that she was honestly like the kindest woman ever. We thought it would be fun to stay at like an Italian family instead of renting like a room or stay at a hotel. So we are very excited. So instead of going to the Airbnb first, we are gonna explore Venice because the train stops in Venice. So it doesn't really make sense to take the train all the way to the Airbnb. So instead we are gonna leave our luggage somewhere, you know, in a safe. And then we will get to exploring. And I am so incredibly excited. This is my first time in Italy during summer. I've only visited Italy in the Alps where I've been skiing so this feels very special and of course Italy holds a very special place in my heart and I think after this trip I will be even more in love with this country. Oh my god! <laughs> The weather is insane. We are definitely way too overdressed for this weather. So I think we need to undress before we can go into the city. Oh my. I'm gonna wear my shirt that I thrifted in Vienna. I haven't been thrifting at all, but I thought this one was so pretty, so I bought it. And Helge is now wearing his jorts. We are ready now! So we found the luggage room and we were able to drop our bags off there. So now it's way easier to stroll around. I'm eating uh, my sandwich that I was supposed to eat during our train ride. <laughs> but I was just so busy doing other stuff, I don't know. So I'm just, it's really good. So the plan is now just to stroll around in Venice and... Get to know the city. Yeah. Okay, wow guys, this city is absolutely beautiful. I feel like I'm living in a dream world or something. It's so unreal. We've just been walking around and just admiring the beauty here. And we are so thirsty because it's so warm outside. Many of you guys recommended that we would try spritz. Apparently Aperol spritz was originated in Venice. And it would be fun to try out like authentic Italian Aperol spritz. Oh my god, look at the view behind me. We just ordered Aperol Spritz and it's so good. I don't know if I'm getting more used to like alcohol, but this is the best Aperol Spritz I've ever tried. Mm. I couldn't resist. I had to order these Chigetti because they just looked so good. And I let the waitress pick three of the best ones. Mm. It's like tomato, chili, mozzarella. It's spicy, but it tastes amazing.
Helge is already a bit sunburnt. <laughs> We didn't realize that it was going to be this sunny because the weather forecast said that it was going to be cloudy. Mm -hmm. But then of course it's sunny and we didn't put on sunscreen. But I mean, we will just get a little bit tan. Maybe a little bit sunburnt, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> It's currently 6.30 and we were thinking about having dinner and I think the Italians would consider that quite early <laughs> since they eat... Pretty uh, late. <laughs> yeah, since they eat pretty late around like 8, 8.30, 9-ish. Maybe even like 10. Yeah. We really want to have dinner by the canal, so we are just looking for some nice restaurant. So of course we need to end the night with a glass of limoncello. Salute! <laughs> we just got our bags back and I think we are gonna head home. It's been such a fun day in Venice and I'm even more excited for tomorrow. We have some exciting plans. But first impression, this city is amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Such a dream. Oh. <laughs> we have arrived safely to the train. It was a bit complicated to begin with to kind of understand the train system here, but we figured it out. Our Airbnb host is literally the cutest woman ever and we are so excited to meet her she was actually gonna pick us up at the train station but her car is at the mechanic and she felt so sorry that we had to walk for like 10 minutes so i'm excited to meet her she's probably such a sweet woman <laughs> good morning it is actually our third day in venice Yesterday, we visited two islands outside of Venice and I decided to make a separate video because this video would have been way too long. So a little bonus video will be up next Sunday and I'm so excited to show you guys because these islands were magical. So stay tuned. I just realized that I didn't show you guys the Airbnb that we are staying at. It was just pitch black outside when we arrived and we were just settling in and stuff. So. I'm gonna show you guys now our room. It's so cozy. So this is the bed and over here is our private bathroom, which is super nice. And here we have like a terrace and it's so beautiful. But our Airbnb host is literally the sweetest woman ever. She immediately like kissed us on both cheeks when we arrived. She was just so welcoming and nice. She has eight dogs downstairs and we haven't met them yet. And I'm hoping that we will meet them now because it is kind of our last day. And this house has a pool and it is so dreamy. So Helgi and I were actually thinking about having our breakfast outside before we head to Venice. He is now in the grocery store to buy Greek yogurt and some strawberries so we can make some breakfast. I really hope I will be able to see the dogs and I will of course ask her for permission if I can like film the dogs and the pool and everything. It would be so fun to show you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. So I'm wearing a skirt that I have never worn before during this trip. I'm also wearing my new Birkenstocks. I'm really happy that I bought them because I had been wearing like flip-flops the whole time and it was terrible. <laughs> Helge is here with the groceries. Oh my god, this feels amazing. Like, do you hear the birds singing? Oh, I could honestly stay here the whole day and just lay in this chair and just sunbathe. I think I might go for a little swim in the pool because you get a little bit tanner when you are swimming. And I really want to get my tan on. By the way, 
I have quite a few mosquito bites and it's so typical because I sprayed on like some spray to prevent mosquito bites before I went to bed but still I got quite a few bites and I think that Helgi hasn't got a single bite and he didn't even put the spray on him so I don't know I always get so unlucky with bug bites Ugh. We are on our way to the train station to go to Venice. It was a little bit tempting to just stay by the pool and soak up the sun. We are excited to go to Venice and explore the rest of the city that we didn't see the first day that we were here. So we are currently booking an Airbnb somewhere in France. I'm not gonna give you the details. It's gonna be a surprise. We are very, very excited. We've never been there before, but I just wanted to tell you guys how easy this actually has been because before we were leaving, we kind of like were a bit stressed out, you know, booking the hotels or the Airbnbs and booking the train tickets or the flights. And But honestly, we've just been kind of going with the flow and booking everything like a couple of days in advance we were so stressed out that everything would be super expensive and that we wouldn't be able to find anything it's been such a smooth process and we've been able to stay at very nice places but yeah this was a very spontaneous like decision to go on this entrail so if you are thinking about doing it then do it honestly if we can do it within like three days of planning then you can do it as well got four buns with smoked ham and two beers for like eight euros or something. So good. I feel like I need a souvenir from Italy. So I was thinking about buying like a t-shirt and have like a baby tea, like take it in a very small size. So it's like fit it. I'm scared that I'm gonna ruin my hair. I bought the baby tea. It's for kids age 7 to 8, but <laughs> I want it to be fitted, so... You can't visit Venice without going on a gondola tour, so that's what we are going to do now. So we're just gonna try to find the nearest one and take a trip. It was so beautiful on the gondola tour. It's like 30 minutes and you pay 80 euros and you go very, very slowly, but it's very cozy. I feel like you definitely need to do a gondola tour if you're in Venice, like at least one time. So next time maybe we'll do like a speedboat. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. We've been trying to find a good view over the Basilica di Santa Maria Church and we just really want to see it so we're trying to find a view and I think we found it. We're in this really <laughs> narrow street so it looks promising. <laughs> Well, we found it, but it's like under maintenance, so they have like a screen <laughs> over it. It's not really like the authentic basilica. It's kind of disappointing, but <laughs> well, you just see a yeah, really big advertisement for Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. It 
it's time to go and visit an old library. I saw some videos and it looks beautiful. Apparently, like if you go in the back, you can see like books that have like survived erosion and I think it's very interesting. It's called the Libraria Aqua Alta and we are almost there, only two minutes. <laughs> The last thing on our sightseeing list is to see Venice's most narrow street. Ooh. And then it's time for pizza. We haven't had pizza since we arrived in Italy. So it's about time. We were thinking about going to a place called Thousand Gourmet. On Google Maps, it says that it's fully booked, but I guess they have like open seats for people who just drop by. So it's like fingers crossed. Otherwise, I don't think there's gonna be an issue to find another pizza place. So I think it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Well, we are here and it's definitely very, very narrow. You can see both sides here. <laughs> and it's very, like, quiet. Don't come here if you're claustrophobic. Oh, no. <laughs> We are currently waiting for our pizza. We ordered a margarita and diavola, and we are gonna take it as takeaway and go somewhere nice to watch the sunset instead of eating inside. You guys recommended this pizza, and it's really tasty. We waited about 20 minutes to get this ice cream and the people in front of us, they said that it's the best ice cream in Venice. So I'm very excited. We got dark chocolate and pistachio. And by the way, it's currently like pouring rain. So we are just under this building, just seeking shelter. <laughs> mm. Wow, it's really, really good. Our Venice trip has come to an end. We originally didn't plan on coming here, but we are so thankful that we did because it's been such an amazing trip. And Venice is such a unique and special city and nothing compares to it. So I'm really thankful that we did end up coming here. It's been a blast. Yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and stay tuned for Sunday because we will be uploading a bonus video from when we visited the islands outside of Venice and it was so beautiful. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> Bye!